Okay. So this video is going to explain just a couple of more of the more in-depth features. We've already talked about the basics in a previous video. So this video is more voluntary, but it will help you through some of the basic features that are available to, on the board while you're using it with the computer connected. Again, the pull tab over here on the left-hand, right-hand side always show up no matter what you're on. So they're always available to you. These options change depending on if you're connected to the Android home screen or if you're connected to an HDMI video source. These are the options right now we're getting based on the fact that we're running off the computer. If, well, on the pull tab here, if you hit the home button, you're going to automatically always go back to the Android home screen. Not only do you have that switcher option down here to go back to HDMI 1, but if you don't want to hit that on the Android home screen, you also have the input button to go back to HDMI 1. You can hear that sound, which means that the audio, along with the video obviously, but the audio is now running through the board as well. Um, if you need to adjust the audio, you have a couple of choices. One, remember in the switcher option, you have the overall volume control for the board, but you can also click the speaker icon on the computer desktop and adjust the audio from there as well. All right, so keep in mind that if, even if your volume is all the way up here, but you're still not getting audio through, come down here to your speaker icon and make sure that your volume is up on the computer as well. For the time being, you still have speakers connected to the monitor on the desktops. Why is that significant? Because for the time being, you have this little up carrot here. Uh, once you click on the speaker icon, you click the up carrot, you have two choices of audio. I bring this up because for two reasons. One, if you didn't want to listen to audio on here, but just wanted to listen to it on the monitor speakers, you can change it to the speaker headphone plug here, to, the, to that source, and it will remove the audio from here. Still show video, remove the audio, and show it on the monitor. But if you want the audio up here, you also it's also good to know this because that way you can also send the audio from the monitor back up to the board. We'll leave it on the board for now, that's that. Coming over here, um, I'm gonna skip this one for now because uh, it changes the screen. This is your annotate button. Uh, now, in annotate mode, whatever I'm showing on the screen, I can go ahead and write over top of whatever we have here, All right? Um, you have pen, highlighter, and eraser, which is just this dust mop here. Click it once, wipes the whole thing. Uh, you have different color choices. If you just continue to tap on the same icon, it'll rotate through color choices. You can save. There, the board has internal memory. I'm not going to go into that right now. That's a much deeper feature that we can talk about later. Um, so pen, highlighter, erase, exit out of annotate mode. Going back to the options here. Um, this is another feature we'll talk about later, but at least you understand that it's here. This is a snipping tool that's for the box light only. This does not interact with the, the computer. You still have the snipping tool on your computer to save to your documents, to save to Google Drive. That's not what this is, all right? We'll talk about that later uh, in a much more in-depth video in a more, uh, more in-person setting. Um, we're going to skip over this icon right here. It's a three, it almost looks like a window icon. It has three solid squares with a little wireless symbol here. This feature is called Unplugged. This is the ability to essentially stream wirelessly from a device, a phone, a Chromebook, a PC laptop, from almost anywhere in the room to stream up to the board. It's a more, much more in-depth feature, not included in this video. I just want you to be aware of what that button is. Um, this is your magnification button, in case you didn't see that, third one from the bottom, magnification tool. Um, you can plus or minus in manually, or just on most of our phones, we can pinch and zoom. Alright, so if you just need, and then drag around. So if you just need to magnify into something to help people see you or to focus on one area that's available to you and then you can go back to the normal and exit out. Uh, one of the tools I think that's gonna get used a lot is this little, uh, 
There's a second to one, second to last one down here. It's a wrench icon. You see spotlight, countdown, and stopwatch. I'm not gonna go into stopwatch or countdown because those are more self-explanatory. Countdown is just a timer. The one I wanna highlight is spotlight. You will see this whole screen's gone black except for one little part that I can drag and move around. This will be kind of similar to one of the features you used to use in um, a lot in Active Inspire to kind of hide things and reveal as necessary. But this is just a nice quick tool that's built into the board to help you just immediately remove focus from you know, all, almost all of the board except for a certain part that you want. You can also pinch it to widen it out and pinch it to close it in case you want to highlight a bigger part of it. You also have the options down here next to the X button to get out of this mode. You have the option button and the alpha scale. The scale is just pinching and you have to, re to resize. The alpha scale allows you to control the brightness of the rest of the board. So you can go full, full dark and not see anything. If you need some help seeing what's going on a little bit, bring it out a little bit so you can see part of the board so you know where you're going to drag to the next part of the board. Okay. And that's it for as far as the more in-depth features go, as far as what you can do using the board without going back to the Android home screen. These tools are available to you while you are displaying content from the PC. So one more feature available to you, uh, almost at any point, no matter where you are in using the board, is called Note. It's on, available on the Android home screen obviously right up here on the pull tab. Um, and then if you're inside of HDMI 1, so not only if, if you don't want to annotate over the board, you want to go back to just a blank notepad. That's what this button is right here. Click that, it will launch the note app. And at this point, the tools are available to you to use the entire board to draw on just like you would a whiteboard, chalkboard, whatever. So if you want to use that feature, that's great. It is multi-touch. Uh, one feature that I, the way I like to describe that is um, for your music teachers out there, if you need to draw a staff real quick, it's up to 10 point multi-touch. You can take 10 fingers and draw two staffs. Forgive my spacing in there a little bit, but you know, you get the point. Um, you can change colors, change tools, change all kinds of stuff. Feel free to noodle around with it. Um, math teachers, another thing for you is you could have, when it comes time down the road, for students to be more up around the room uh, to use the board, you can do math competitions, have you know two kids battling at the same time to do math problems, all kinds of stuff. And that's your note feature.